Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Vio SX14 Early 2020 Refresh. So much like the SX12 that I also received from Vio along with this machine for review purposes, uh, it does sport an Intel 10th Gen Comet Lake Core i7 processor, which means you're getting six cores in an incredibly light package. Uh, and as I mentioned, the SX12 and SX14, this is the 14 inch, share the exact same internals uh, depending on your configuration. Uh, so the real difference is the screen size. Now both the SX12 and the SX14 that I'm looking at here are incredibly light machines. Uh, they both utilize the same charger, which I have right here, I'm gonna show you. Um, both have 35 watt hour batteries and there is a Core i5 option, uh, I believe on the SX12, I'm not sure that there is one on the SX14, uh, and this is the charger that comes with it. So you do have a Type-A port for charging another peripheral. Uh, I don't believe this machine charges or the SX12 from Type-C, but I will be checking that out. But that is the included charger. Uh, the 35 watt hour battery is probably uh, the least enticing thing about their new lineup in the SX12 and SX14, but the beauty of this machine, again, is how lightweight it is, uh, the magnitude of I.O. that you have. There's the power port, lock, two type A USB ports, headphone jack. Over to the other side, we have a full-size SD card slot, another type A port, a type C. This is not a Thunderbolt port, wish that it were but this machine is really targeting, I would say a slightly different audience, not that they wouldn't mind having Thunderbolt, uh, but power delivery, display capability, uh, so 4K over uh, 60 Hertz over this, not over the HDMI though, I believe that's capped at 30. Uh, then we have, of course, Ethernet and VGA. Uh, this machine that I have here has, again, the Core i7, and that is under the Comet Lake um, specs, uh, the 10710U, uh, so six cores. Uh, we have Intel UHD graphics, which is, I believe, the 620 integrated GPU, so not as good on the graphics side as Iris Plus that you'll find in actually less expensive machines, but you are getting more processing power. 16 gigs of RAM, a uh, 512 gig uh, PCI Express SSD under the hood here, and this is only... Uh, a full HD display. I did want to check out the uh, UHD option, which I believe only exists on this model, not the 12 inch, uh, but it was not available. So here we are looking at, again, the full HD model and retail for this. I didn't find it on Vio's site right now in this specific configuration, but I'm going to estimate uh, since it's $17.99 for the same build, uh, let's see if there's any power. It looks like this is dead. But it's $17.99 for the exact same build with a UHD display, so I've got to believe this is probably $16.99 or thereabout. Um, now, the starting prices on this machine, as well as the SX12, are not that high, but of course, as you build them up, they get a lot higher. Uh, but the only drawback that I can see, even though I can't power this up and actually show you the display, matte finish, by the way, just like previous models, is really the battery life uh, with that 35 watt hour battery, but uh, I don't see that as a tremendous, hinder a tremendous hindrance here because at the end of the day, show me another Ultrabook with a six core Comet Lake processor that is this light, this portable, and guess what? You're not gonna find one. I mean, there, there really are very few comparable machines and that's what Vio tends to do well. I mean, made in Japan, uh, I would say very good craftsmanship. We have a backlit keyboard, even though I can't show you now, and I will power this up, of course, and start using it um, and give you, all of you, more impressions and, of course, eventually a final review. Uh, Windows Hello with an IR camera, fingerprint scanner, uh, so the previous gen did not have that. I'm not expecting uh, a world or a game-changing uh, feel from this, but, you know, maybe there will be because the reality of this laptop is that with that six core processor and something this light, even though it is a U-series, that's just bonkers. I mean, to think about that something that is this portable has a six core chip inside would be unheard of all of two years ago. And even right now, as I mentioned, pretty much non-existent. So I give credit to Vio staying on cutting edge when they first launched back in the States. Uh, they weren't current with processors, but now they absolutely are. 
And I do like the carbon fiber. I always have. This was originally, of course, a Sony uh, product, uh, but Vio has their own intellectual property. Library still intact. And the design cues, uh, the build quality, I like the carbon fiber. I really do. I wish other manufacturers went this route, but unfortunately they don't. And this is a way to keep things really light while maintaining durability. So uh, spill resistance on this keyboard, as well as the SX-12. I may not have mentioned that in my SX-12 unboxing. Uh, and I also really love the hinge that they've got. And other manufacturers are going this route too, but I believe Vio was the first um, to actually start rolling it out. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, not really a big deal. Either way, I like the hinge. We have better cooling that way. And, you know, it's just a nice machine. It's certainly not for everyone. Vios aren't. These are for predominantly a business-centric uh, clientele. But the amount of processing power you have here uh, and uh, nice, fast uh, NVMe drive uh, paired with, I would prefer, again, the 4K display, you really have a very competent, portable machine that even if it doesn't have the best battery life, it should deliver some best-in-class performance, and that is intriguing. Again, gaming not going to be its forte, no Thunderbolt 3, a fairly small touchpad to say the least, and I mentioned this in my SX-12 unboxing, I wish that Vio would give us a touchscreen if they're going to keep the touchpad this small. Even if they make it a little bit larger, I would wholeheartedly welcome touchscreen capability. Do love that we have a matte display. Vio just gets so many things right that the majority of manufacturers don't, and their quality control is really uh, second to none. So, like this machine a lot, but until I see how it performs, I can't really tell you that you shouldn't go over if you're interested in a Vio machine and get uh, the previous generation of SX14 or 12 with the 8th gen processors, because I know a lot of you out there don't necessarily need that jump in cores. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, Please feel free to subscribe. Later.